tonight, some children with disabilities may not get the chance now to learn to play golf, all because of a thief. The director of a nonprofit charity says some golf equipment was stolen for an upcoming event for those kids. Fox 35's Valerie Roy has the story. Well, organizers of a youth golf program say thieves stole some equipment used to help benefit children. Our trailer was taken two nights ago um, with all of our equipment in it. Chad Risto of a nonprofit organization called Little Linksters says a trailer full of golf equipment was taken from behind this building in Apopka. The equipment was supposed to be used in a tournament for kids in two weeks. We have some children with disabilities that play in our series. Um, sometimes it's the first and only chance that they get to play um, in something like this. And we try to make it as quote-unquote PJ experience as possible for them so that they can go out and feel what it's like to be treated the way that the pros are on TV and our professionals that we all look up to. Chad says the equipment is worth around $10,000. Well, obviously we were upset. Uh, I don't know that they knew really what was in the trailer or if they were taking it just for the trailer, but if they knew how many lives that it affected, um, hopefully they're better people than that. Upset and mad. Ten-year-old Isabel says Little Linksters has made a difference in her life. She hopes that these come clean. Someone actually confirmed that they did it and bring it back. All of our tables, tablecloths, banners, um, prizes for the kids, medals. Um, you know that when you add up all those things, it, it's a lot of money. And when you're a 501c3 company and you're a nonprofit, you, you don't have that ability to just get it back that quickly. And the funds aren't there to just go ahead and... Do it again. Chad hopes someone can help. Our email at this nonprofit at littlelinksters.com and send us any comments. And anyone with information should call the Seminole County Sheriff's Office. In Seminole County, Valerie Boy, Fox 35 News. When we come back tonight,